Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. As you can see by the title of this article, thousands of people are reportedly lining up to have a portion of their skull removed and one of Elon Musk's brain sea hips implanted. You know, this is the vision of the MOTB. And, you know, what inspired me to, to look up this article, um, I was watching a video of the head of the camp, GMS South Carolina Midlands, uh, Bishop Aka. Uh, his page is GMS Endure, Describe and Be Edified. You know, he's pretty much speaking on this matter. And, um, you know, there's plenty of articles going into this. And we see that it says thousands of people are pretty much lining up. You know, they're voluntarily, you know, receiving or uh, about to receive this device, which we know as the MOTB. Um, but eventually this devil, Esau Edom, you know, he's going to enforce it because he wants to enforce this device on the whole world. All right. Thus, uh, the, the uh, scripture is speaking about you know, the hour of temptation. And matter of fact, let's go ahead and read about that real quick before we read, um, you know, that article. Because this is what our forefather, uh, John, saw. You know, John the Revelator you know, saw within the vision. Um, I was going to go to uh, Revelation 13, 16, but let's read this first. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. And this is pertaining to, you know, the hopeful elect. Uh, starting with the 144,000, you know, the governing body. You know, they're the ones keeping the, the word of the, of the Lord's patience. You know, uh, holding on to the words of the Lord and applying it. Um, increasing in the wisdom and knowledge, which is going to be the stability of their times. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So this time, known as the hour of temptation, where this devil is going to enforce that device, you know, that RFID micro c -hip, you know, the Lord said that he's going to keep, you know, the hopeful elect from that time. All right, for holding on to his words, you know, keeping the words of his patience. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is going to be enforced, you know, throughout all the world. You know, right now, you know, you may have people voluntarily, you know, lining up, take this device, but eventually this devil is going to enforce it, man. All right. So just reading a little bit of this article, it says thousands of people have expressed interest in receiving one of Neuralink's brain implants, a recent Bloomberg report from one of Elon Musk's biographers, Ashley Vance, says, Vance, who said he visited Neuralink's facilities 10 times in three years, said the company had yet to implant its device in a human, but aimed to operate on 11 people next year and more than 22,000 by 2030. So, you know, obviously Esau Edom, you know, he has plans, you know, pertaining to this article, but we know that this devil, you know, he's already got the ball rolling when it comes down to this device, man. All right, people already, you know, pretty much putting it in their hands. Um, you know, this devil more than likely already started human trials, you know, long ago. You know, he's just coming out publicly. Uh, you know, doing it by the book legally, 
uh, as far as pertaining to uh, bringing it to the masses. Uh, but eventually it's going to get to that point to where he's going to enforce it, man. All right, so let's read about, you know, the vision of the MOTB in Revelation 13 and 16 on down. And before I get that, let me get this. Uh, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, and the, vis the vision, you know, is pertaining unto prophecy. You know, it's for an appointed time because, you know, the Lord, he always, uh, you know, uh, set point appointed times, you know, for prophecy to come to pass. And, you know, the scriptures even speak about how he measured the times and numbered the times. And I'm going to get that real quick. And uh, uh, showing you that uh, prophecy also has an order. You know, because pertaining to a point in time, you know, the Lord does things in order. Um, And reading it within the scriptures, Second Edges 4, uh, I believe around the, the 30th verse, uh, Second Edges chapter 4, and verse 37, it says, By measure hath he measured the times. And by number have he numbered the times, and he doth not move nor stir them unto the said measure be fulfilled. And, uh, you know, pretty much pertaining unto prophecy. You know, the Lord have numbered the times and measured the times. And, you know, they have appointed times for prophecy to come to pass in order. You know, just like how we see the signs. You know, pointing towards the end of Esau Edom's rulership. You know, and it also indicates the second return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Well, you know, before the peak of the Third World War, you know, which is a part of prophecy, you know, before the destruction, you know, this karagma, this device, the hour of temptation is going to have to take place. All right. So Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, pertaining unto prophecy, the vision. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we're at the end. You know, we're at the end of this eon. All right. You know, the Greek word, you know, pertaining unto world. You know, we're at the end of this eon, this period of time, this age of this devil, you know, the so-called white man. It says, and at, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And this is evidence, you know, of the, the, the vision, you know, the prophecy of the MOTB, you know, speaking and not lying. You know, <laughs> we're right here, man. We're right here at the door. You know, Yahabah Shema was shy. You know, his word is not coming back void. All right. Now, reading the vision, um, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, and it reads, And he causeth all, and this he is pertaining unto Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you know, starting with the wicked elite. You know, they're the ones who control everything, you know, the banks, the money, um, you know, entertainment. You know, they pretty much own all the resources for the most part. You know, that they... they uh, this is that he, you know, uh, Esau, Edom, you know, the so-called white man. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And, you know, this mark breaks down to the Greek word karagma, all right, which is pretty much a physical mark, man. You know, that's literally going to be uh, pushed and implanted within people. All right, but it said, you know, to receive a mark, a karagma in their right hand, which we know people are already taking that, that grain of rice, that, that device, that RFID micro C hip in their hands already. You know, you have a, 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 a TikTok a famous a woman named C hip girl, you know, put the C and the hip together, 
You know, she's called C Hip Girl. And she's famous for, you know, unlocking doors, paying, you know, you got people paying for their food. All right, with that C Hip. You know, this is that vision. All right. And it says, or in their foreheads. And, you know, we're pretty much reading about it, you know, about this devil. And and Elon Musk is not the only, you know, Edomite company, you know, pushing forth this device. You know, he's just pretty much uh, a household name when it pertains to these, you know, RFID micro C hips being put in the brain. All right. So he's going to cause. You know, all both smaller, great, rich, and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, a karagma, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might be, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's showing you that if you don't take this device, you're pretty much going to be cut off, you know, from commerce, you know, cut off from society. And you know, that's going to be the point in time where the hopeful elect is going to be solely dependent on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, even as, you know, we depend on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai now, uh, you know, so much the more in that time. Okay. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast or is the number of a man. That's Esau Edom. For his number is six hundred three score and six. And you know, we know that that six 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 breaks down to chai sai stigma. And pertaining unto stigma is pretty much pertaining unto this devil, uh uh pretty much putting that that hypodermic needle, you know, that carocks inside of your skin, you know, pretty much piercing your skin, you know, uh thus bringing in the sin. You know, you're not supposed to uh, make any cuttings in your flesh pertaining unto the law. All right, so if you take this device, you know, you're pretty much ple pleading your allegiance with Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right? I'm going to play this article, and we're going to get into some more scriptures, man. Block you. Yeah. Let me refresh it. Internet, the Wi Fi, whatever. Uh, but we still gonna bring out these scriptures nonetheless. Uh second Corinthians chapter two and eleven. It says, Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And you know, Satan is dealing with Esau Edom, you know, the devil, the adversary. All right. And uh we're not ignorant of his devices. To be ignorant means to not to know. All right, we know, you know, the, the, the wicked intents of this devil, you know, because when we get into that word devices, we'll play it.
you know, we know that this devil wants to push forth this device to pretty much have total control over all the people of the earth. You know, he pretty much wants to be in the place of the Most High. All right, Second Corinthians 2 and 11 in the NLT, in order that Satan might not outwit us, you know, pretty much outsmart us, for we, excuse me, for we are not unaware of his schemes that this devil is plotting, man. All right, this is the accuser of our brethren, you know, that's about to be cast down. And I made a point as this devil, you know, wants to see help everybody to pretty much be like the Most High. This is Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two and verse three. Let no man lo, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So it said, let no man deceive you. All right, especially this devil Esau Edom, you know. And that falling away was during the time of 70 AD, you know, pretty much, you know, when the, the, the Roman persecution, you know, they ransacked, you know, Jerusalem. You know, we fled to the west coast of Africa. You know, some Israelites fled into Asia. And, you know, pretty much through uh, the transatlantic uh, slave trade, you know, we forgot who we were. You know, all according to prophecy, of course, uh, Jer Jeremiah 17 and 4. You know, us being discontinued from our heritage. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, the Lord has brought, you know, back uh, the remembrance by way of the Rekakradash, you know, uh, Revelation uh, 11 and 11. You know, he's, we we woken back up to who we are and the, and the truth to our power, man. All right. But nonetheless, that falling away had to take, you know, take place first. And it says, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, and that man of sin is dealing with Esau, Edom. Okay, he is the wicked, according to the Bible, uh, Malachi 1 and 4. You know, they are the border of wickedness, and the people whom the Lord have indignation, righteous anger forever. All right, and dealing with him being the son of perdition, you know, this devil, you know, all he does is destroy, man. All right, perdition goes into destruction. And all this devil does is destroy because his blessing was the sword. All right. Well, verse four says, who opposeth, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshiped so that as so that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, truing that he is the most high. All right. So this devil is pretty much. You know, trying to be like the Most High, we see that you know, he pretty much whitewashed the images of the Heavenly Father and of his Son and of his chosen people, the Israelites. You know, and, and now this devil, you know, is getting to the point of advancement with his technology, you know, all according to prophecy, to where he wants to put this sea up in everybody. You know, that way that he can know everything, know everything that you buy know how much carbon emissions, you know, you, you're letting out. You know, that's the intent of this devil, man. All right, he wants to overstep the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, he wants to overstep the Son uh, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So this is the book of Job. You know, this devil don't understand that everything is happening according to the will of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Job 14 and 5, seeing... His days are determined. So this devil has a time limit. All right. <laughs> the Lord, Yahweh, Shai put a time limit on this devil. It says, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So once, you know, this devil reach his limit that Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai has ultimately set for him. You know, there's not a, a second that this devil can go past that moment. All right, you know, the Lord is about to, you know, pretty much cast this devil down, man. You know, he had his short time to rule, and, you know, Yahweh Shemal Shai is about to bring in a righteous, everlasting kingdom, you know, with his people. All right, so let's read this as well. Job 20 and 4. 
Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short, but the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. So though it seems like this devil has been ruling for some time, you know, according to us being in this flesh as men, you know, we know that this devil has really been ruling for a short moment according to the Lord's time. Because according to Second Peter, the third chapter, in the eighth verse, you know, a thousand years is a day to the Lord and a day a thousand years. You know, so this devil really been ruling for a short time, a, a, a small moment, you know, according to the Lord's time. Man. And, you know, the, the kingdom that we're about to receive you know, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai is going to be an everlasting one. All right, so, you know, nonetheless, you know, uh, this devil is not going to, you know, pretty much uh, prevail in his wicked intents, his devices, wicked plans uh, on trying to enslave and see help everybody. The elect is going to be kept from this time, as we read in Revelation 3 and 10. All right, and this devil ultimately is going to be destroyed. And if you take that device, man, according to prophecy, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right, pertaining unto you Israelites out there. All right, we must give that warning. All right. Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you take that device, take that sea hip, you bow down to Esau, Edom, and his beast system. You know, you're going to be burnt with, you know, uh, fire and brimstone as the scriptures speak about. You know, you're going to get caught up in that second death, you know, the lake of fire. You know, that, that destruction from the ICBM uh, missiles, man, or nuclear missiles, all right? And, uh, you know, you're going to be burned up uh, before, you know, the heavenly host, the angels, and the Lamb, you know, being Yahweh Shai. So that's pretty much the vision of the MOTB. You know, uh, Lord Wilders is edifying through the Spirit. You, know, you got people lining up for this device, and eventually it's going to be enforced. All right, but the Lord is going to keep the elect from this time all right, and destroy the two-thirds who take it. The Lord will, this is edifying through the Spirit with that. Shalom.